good morning you guys so i just put on my numbing cream it is march 16th i have a tattoo appointment at 12 it is 10 36 i'm gonna go to starbucks and get some starbucks for me and jaleese i'm gonna have jaleese to take me to date because i don't want to be alone and i'm too scared to faint i put on my numbing cream i want it on at least an hour and a half before appointment i'm really really freaking nervous i really felt like i can do this tattoo i'm really hoping i can it's just gonna be in the front of my neck i'm not trying to get so scared about it but i am really nervous about it just because it is the front of my neck i do have a couple tattoos on the side of my neck and so yeah it's been a tattoo that's been on my mind for a couple years now i have had the tattoo appointment for about i think four months now i'm gonna be filming at appointment so i'll see you guys there yeah, I think I'm leaning towards more of something like this and maybe just a tiny bit like smaller just because of my neck size. Like in, in like this area is like completely fine to go up here and then to fill out right down here. Okay, cool. And then like that's when, okay. Yeah, of course. You start it on the table work and then I'm gonna make the stencil for you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we went through and I just picked out like the one that I was wanting and I think I went way smaller. These ones were a little bit too big for my neck so I went with one of the smaller sizes. This one's still a little bit bigger than the one that I'm gonna get but we're gonna go in right there. Like be looking up when you do the stencil, looking forward. Uh, probably just looking forward as naturally as possible. Did you get a good breakfast in today? Um, yeah, <laughs> I tried my best too. Yeah. I was like so nervous. I've been up since like seven in the morning. Uh -oh. Did you have that placement? Yeah, I really like that. Lips oh yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's symmetrical because uh, from our ears to, to where the horns are ending. Has it gone in? Yeah. Oh, you didn't okay. feel it today? No. That's crazy. Okay, that's, that's good great. Though. That's great. Okay, okay. Where do you work at for brows? Um, I'm not working yet, but um, I trained at Nye. Okay, yeah. I know Nye. Have you ever had someone like not be able to sit in for their neck tattoo at all? Um, I had some people like break it up into like two sessions, mm -hmm. or just like lining and then shading another session. Uh -huh. while well, they just stenciled my stuff out. I was like, I've gotten a tattoo in so long. I was like, how long does that take? She was like, he has like a machine, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. <laughs> Which was like a concentrated like sting, I guess. Yeah, you know how you were talking about lip blush? Mm -hmm. We use the, uh, well not that big, but um, we use three needles so it fills up a lot quicker also. Mm. So it's like
needed like that moral support mm -hmm. oh, but it's I'm finally right done i'm so happy it looks so good i'm not too sure if this area like shows it a little bit better um i paid about 300 for it which wasn't bad at all and i tipped him 100 dollars just because i am so happy with it hey guys so it's been a couple of days it's been about two days so far this tattoo is healing really nicely no issues at all i've been cleaning it putting my lotion on and just keeping it really good so for appointment i did do numbing cream i really did mess up and i put the numbing cream on but when i went to starbucks just so many people were looking at me that i took the saran wrap off and i shouldn't have done that because it completely dried off it's the same thing as like when you're using other type of lubricants and trying to moisturize if you kind of take it off it's not going to stay as wet and moisturized so i took that off making the numbing gel or numbing cream basically dry up and flake all over my neck so by the time Jalisa picked me up it was already flaking for like an hour an hour and some so then once we washed it off and got to appointment sadly it was the numbing cream was not really helping out uh like at all it did for like the first couple seconds as you can see in the first video i felt like i did feel it but then i wasn't too sure if that was also me second guessing myself and i wasn't too sure if that was a feeling or if i was just so nervous i started feeling a pain in my neck but i did start feeling the pain after he was done with this quarter about down here um where he was just doing the outline i slowly started feeling the whole thing definitely the one needle going through everywhere you can feel for the outline and then afterwards he went in with the um, the shading and the shading definitely that was pretty brutal he was telling me some people like the shading some people don't for me the shading wasn't too bad until about the last like two minutes of the um shading just because i think he's already gone over some of my skin and my skin was already sore and it was hurting it wasn't technically raw but it felt raw to the touch like every time he went back over with those um needles and so i just really couldn't stand it but the great thing is is i never once told him really that like i couldn't handle it i sat there the whole time i had a straight face i smiled i wasn't making any stank faces like i wasn't like or like or anything like that so i was so happy I wanted it to just be a really a really good experience for both me and him just in case if one day I do want to get tatted by him again which I that is who I will be going to for now on like he is such a light hand he is so great better than any artist that I've ever gone to or even looked at and so I really enjoyed his work I really just wanted to make sure that when I was in his presence and in his space that I wasn't going to be overly filled with anxiety or overly scared or anything. I wanted him to feel comfortable so that I felt comfortable so then we both felt comfortable for the whole experience. It was great. We had great conversation. Everything went smoothly. I tried my best not to talk when he did have the needle in my neck just so it could help him out because I know my pulse was very high when it was going. The tattoo did take about three hours, which I was so surprised I could hold on the whole time too because I think my longest tattoo has maybe been like 20, 30 minutes. It's never been this long. And so honestly, I was so happy I was able to sit through it and not have any issues at all. We did take about two breaks just because we needed to switch sides and then also I think his back was hurting a little bit which I felt super bad about just because I know that he was hovering and stuff for my tattoo but y'all don't understand he did beautiful work to be able to hover I was so scared that um like there was gonna be like pressure on my body just for like the stillness of the needle but it all turned out so great this is my tattoo a little bit more close up for you guys can to see so this is a Hanya mask tattoo and basically it is a Japanese female demon. The backstory of it is someone who was betrayed so much that she's basically come out and really shown her true self. And that's kind of how I've seen my life go in the past six years. And I've been wanting, really wanting this since I was about like 17 years old. I'm 22 now. And it's been a long experience just because I know that putting something on my neck was something that a lot of my family members were gonna be really upset about. But then I've also realized like a lot of my family members aren't there in my life enough to even judge me, to even tell me that I shouldn't get something, to tell me that something is ugly, that something is scary, anything. So you know what? I really told myself that this year I'm going to do me. This tattoo just has so many different meanings to me, which is so hard to explain, especially after Jackson died, after my Benoit died, which means dad's mom in Vietnamese. 
Um, after all those deaths, it's been very hard on me. And I think I've realized through all that, it's also made me into a stronger person in certain ways. So getting this tattoo just had so much meaning, so much love, everything to me. So for Kevin to be able to complete this for me was one of the most amazing things that could have happened in 2020. So I'm so appreciative of that. So I hope you guys have liked it. I tried just doing a video to show you guys what a neck tattoo would look like. The pain for me wasn't too bad. Um, even though that it was brutal, it did hurt. I just thought about like my family members. I thought about my life. I thought about everything. And I was, it was very easy to breathe through when you start thinking about the difficult things in your life. Besides that, my pain tolerance is kind of high. So I don't know if everybody could do this, but it definitely was something that I think if I didn't have other things on my neck, I would definitely fill them up again and do that. With right now, I kind of just have this try me on this side with um, a little symbol. And then I had this right before a breakup. It basically just means like, um, love yourself first in Chinese. I haven't really thought about anything that I'm gonna put around the sides, but for now, this is kind of where I'm gonna stick with. I'm so pleased, so happy. I love the simplicity of it and everything. I love that it's not too dark at all. So I hope you guys liked this video and it was a little informative. If you guys have any questions or anything to say, leave them down in the comments. I don't know. Have a great day, you guys. <laughs>